six-year-old right there wanted to get a pretty short haircut. You see it, but her mom blogged about her agony over the decision. ABC's Abby Boudreaux has the story. This morning, six-year-old Lucy McDougall's faux hawk is creating hair-raising headlines. And I'm so happy now. Her mother, Jackie, loves it too, defending her daughter's mohawk-inspired style online to outraged moms who blog that Lucy's too young. So for you, what is the limit? Where's drawing the line? Um, she is six. She's six. I mean, tattoos and, and piercings, no. You know, I mean, it's hair. The great hair chop was actually the kindergartner's idea. I was thinking and thinking lots of days, and then I came up with it. It was in my head. At first, her mom, who also has two sons, said absolutely not. She thought keeping her daughter's hair long was more acceptable for a little girl. And she had flashbacks to her own childhood. So I had a lot of self-esteem issues growing up, and I think as girls we all do, but I don't know that we're born with them. And she hasn't gotten there. You know, why was I putting my years of experience and trying to please other people and look a certain way on someone who's not feeling that. But after six months of her daughter's relentless begging, Jackie finally gave in. How can I raise her to be a strong, confident woman when I'm dictating at six years old, this is the way you're supposed to look? So off to the salon and off with the hair. When they were cutting to take off the ponytail, she just had a look that says, my mom believes in who I am and will help me express that. So what do your friends think of your haircut? Oh, uh, they thought I was a boy, but they saw my earrings. It, it looks fantastic on my Yeah. It does. It really does. Lucy's mom agrees, but never predicted that cutting 10 inches would be so inspiring. I've learned more from this than my daughter ever will. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreaux, ABC News, Los Angeles. She does look fantastic. Let's bring oh, in. She's happy. happy. Oh, <laughs> yes, she please. is. Dr. Karen Gordon's back with us again today. And, you know, I was going through this. I know this has sparked a huge reaction yeah. uh, online. I gotta confess, I don't understand what the big deal was. Yeah, you know what, me too, actually. And I, so actually I was reading what different people's responses are. Like, are we giving too much power to kids? Are we, are we giving away our authority? And I'm all about parents actually having that authority, but it's mm -hmm. hair. And you know, especially in grows light back. of like, and it grows back. And um, and especially when we think about you know really difficult situations like what's going on with Paris uh, Parrot, you know, like yeah, this Paris is in perspective. Like to me, the story it's like this is in perspective. So you don't think the mom caved in any? No, way. in fact, I was really impressed with how the mom made the decision. You know, she, this is a very thought out decision. She wants her daughter to to make these decisions by herself. I think that's very mm -hmm. powerful and not caring with what other people think. Mm -hmm. You have to pick your battles as a parent. You have to pick too. your battles. Yes. Like, mommy, I want to wear a skimpy bikini. This right. is hey, I want to cut my hair. It's right. going to grow back. And the little girls, the one that's going to have to look back that's at those right. childhood photos and be like, oh. The those were awkward years. Right. Right. But you hit upon something when you said, no, she's not asking to be in a skimpy outfit. Right. But mm -hmm. what, what age does it become? Because like, what if she wanted a tattoo? Or what right. if she wanted mm -hmm. something, right. a piercing of some sort? What is the age where you let the child be a child or yes. you know, a teen yes. or that you step in as a parent? So anything that is going to be harmful to themselves or other people, then I think pe parents need to step in. And also things that are more permanent. So tattoos are more permanent. This right. is hair. It's going to grow back. And you know, one of the things I liked about with the mom is she didn't say yes right away. She said, okay, let's, let's think this out for mm -hmm. six months. Right. And at the end of the six months, if you still want to do it, that's fine. And that the fact that she gave the, the hair to wigs for kids. I, know, I, I love know. that. Mm -hmm. Like what a lesson. Me, I know. What a lesson. It's almost a lesson for the rest of us. Mm -hmm. So I, I actually really applaud this mom. I think she really kind of helps us all of us challenge us a little bit. Yeah.